Yeah, authenticity is a pretty difficult thing. Um, I'm not sure it's related to accessibility, though. Um, I tend to think that everything should be very accessible. Um, but because it's accessible, doesn't necessarily mean that one should appropriate it. Cultural appropriation is, is a, a dirty word. <laughs> Um, in the 70s and beyond, there was um, a lot of theater companies that were uh, going and looking for new ways of, of performing, and in many ways what they called the universal language. And they were going and learning, you know, Indian folk dance methods or performing with, um, you know, Japanese techniques or... and they're pretty incredible companies doing amazing deep work and they were all accused of cultural appropriation and we're talking some of the best directors in the world um, of the last century and um, it started this kind of bonfire of you know ac accusations and um, and so it's a really sensitive area and and I I don't think there's an easy answer to it. My feeling about cultural appropriation and authenticity is that where true curiosity exists, there will be true authenticity. So, but where smugness and assumption come into play, that's when things will become shallow, cliche, and stereotyped. And I see both all the time. 